what's up guys it's me ivy um i just wanted to make this uh this video um and as you could tell by the title you see what it is about okay i just want to share that um what made me want to do this video is that that guy twitch boss the one that um you know well how do you say it could i say that word on youtube well you know he just offed himself off himself i'm gonna say that better um i just want to say anybody that is going through that guys you have to find god you have to turn to the bible and you have to pray because that is a um, demonic spirits attacking you and attacking your mind and the only way to 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 survive that is you have to get in the bible don't listen to people just get in the, get in the bible and um read the second testament the second testament of the bible is when jesus came you know to die for our sins the first testament is before jesus after you read the first testament no the second testament go back and read the the first after you read the second testament go back and read the first testament um i remember i was in jail and this lady, uh, that was, I was 20, 24, yeah, I was like 24, 23. And that's around the time that I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Because before, I didn't, I didn't used to believe in, that was my starting journey, okay, guys? You know, I still made mistakes after that, you know, and I did go back into sin uh, after, like, accepting jesus as my lord and savior when i was like 23 24 but that was a starting point like that's when i knew god is real like he is real like he is a he is a being that is being and he's always watching everybody like he's listening to you right now yes it's like that but anyways um me saying this is um um yeah the lady some lady came to my to my uh my bunkie because i was in general population around that time so she's like and honestly i just wanted to go because i wanted to get out of my bunk you know like to go talk to the church lady i just wanted to get off my bunk you know because there's a bunch of bunks and i was like annoyed of people and then I get I get to the lady and, and then she shares her testament. She's like that she was a prostitute and she got deliverance and uh, she accepted Jesus as her Lord and Savior. And she's the one that uh, she's the one that uh, she's like, do you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior now? But or uh, yeah, and I was like, yeah because i was already thinking about it guys like i was already thinking about like you know starting to read the bible because what i was going through at the time while well, well, the reason i was in jail was for something i didn't do so i really needed to believe in something so i was already thinking it you know but i just honestly just wanted to get out of my bunk when she came around and then she's like my point of saying this is i remember she's like here's the bible she gave me a little blue bible it was the new, the second testament um and she's like I'm, i was like yeah i'm gonna start reading the bible and she's like i suggest you read the sec the second one first and then the first because if you read the first one it's going to discourage you from even like keep going and i was like nah I'm, i don't like that that doesn't even make sense like why would you not read it from the beginning i didn't listen to her and i still read it from the beginning but I could see why it is going to deter you away. Because the first testament um, is basically all the, the rules you're supposed to go by, you know, uh, when you're living here. But anyway, I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to teach you guys. I'm just here to tell you guys 
if you're going through a dark phase, you have to uh, turn to God because those are demonic forces like for like in your thoughts and um tell like telling you in uh, telling you to kill yourself and telling and visualizing to kill yourself and i'm very familiar with that with with that i've been there before i've never been there i think i got to the point where uh like i was even thinking about ways to kill myself i think i was 25 26 i was living in like <clears throat> i was living in las vegas and that was probably one of my the darkest errors i've ever had of my life like like i'm telling you i was even contemplating of like i would because you know there's some days you get depressed you know like and you just don't want to wake up or something like that but this this when you go through like suicide is like you're actually thinking of ways of how to kill yourself. I remember thinking, um, like, damn, I should just like hang myself on that that rack right there. The the um, wow. I, I honestly, I've never talked about this, but I feel like somebody needs to hear this. Like, um, damn, it kind of makes me want to cry. Um, hold up, I don't want to cry. Anyways, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put pause. No, I can't put pause because I'm just going to upload it. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> Deep breath. And I just remember thinking, like, I'm just going to hang myself with the, that, like, cord and, you know? And I just started, th let, let's skip through it because it, this is making me emotional. I started just thinking of ways, like, to do it, you know? And, um, <clears throat> thankfully, I don't know what I did, honestly. For sure, I, I prayed. I, I don't know what delivered me, dude, but I knew about Jesus already at that time. Because remember I told you, like, um, I found him, like, maybe two years before this happened. And these this had, this had never happened to me before. I feel like, but anyways, that's, that's another story. I'm just, my point of this video is, like, I've been there before, like, and I know how intense it feels. And it's, and that's such a dark, it's such a dark, um... It's a dark moment, like really dark. Like you're you you you're surrounded by demons. Sometimes those thoughts are not even your thoughts, man. Like that's already like the devil to like getting your mind weak. You know what I mean? Cause that's what he wants. He wants you to do that. Cause by you doing that, he's gonna win your soul. Cause right when you do that, there's no you're not going to heaven like you know you don't have no chance because you're not supposed to you're not supposed to kill yourself you know what i mean like that's like a direct way to hell bro and um that was the first time i i've thought of suicide and i and you know what i remember thinking too like dang you know like i already knew about god i already had read the first testament around this time and I already read the second one. So I, I like, like I already had like a scripture in my head. So um, I just remember thinking too, uh, another time, this is another time that this, I felt suicidal thoughts, but not, I, I've never experienced it as strong as I did when I was 24. Uh, like I think this only happened to me two times guys um I've never experienced it ever again like that that was my first time ever when I was like 24 I was living in Las Vegas and I was a stripper too and like like you like you see like I accepted my lord Jesus savior in jail and then I still got out and I still went back to dancing and stripping so you know I fell off you know in my walk with uh this but anyways my point is, um, yeah, I never felt it that strong. But my point is, is that when you know, when you 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 when you turn to God and you're feeling this way and you get that Bible, it's gonna and it, it's gonna like defeat 
that demon that is making you think this and making you feel that way. Because we wrestle not with, with, with flesh, we wrestle with principalities and things we can't see. Like, like literally right now, like, there's always a war going on. Like, we can't see it because we're humans, you know what I mean? We're in a different dimension. Like, like when you are, like, going through stuff like that, there's other things around you that you can't see. You know what I mean? So you have to turn to God and you have to turn to scripture. You know what I mean? And and just know like I don't I don't know if I should say it because I'm not gonna say it anyway. I don't I don't care. You're gonna go to hell, man. You you do it, you don't which what's the point of that? You know what I mean? Whatever you're going through right now, you're gonna get through it. You know what I mean? Like just pray and turn to the Lord and turn from your evil ways. You know what I mean? Like, everybody goes through it. You know what I mean? We, we were born winners. You're a winner. You know, like, you know what I mean? We're not born to lose. You're a winner no matter what nobody says. You only lose when you give up on yourself. And one thing, one thing that always stayed with me that my mom shared with me, because around that time, the suicidal time, I was really going through it. And I'm never the type of person that I'm, when I'm going through something, I never talk about it with anybody. Like, not even with my mom, not even with my sister. Ever since I was little, I've been like that. When I'm going through something, I sit quiet and I go through it and then I, and then it goes away. Um, but around this time, I remember telling my mom, like, even this was before I went to Las Vegas. I even shared with her, like, damn, you know, like, this and this and that. And then she's like, she's like, you know what? When you're really fucked is when you start believing what they're saying about you. And you accept it as your own doctrine. And you're fucked when you start seeing yourself in the eyes of somebody that doesn't like you. Once they get you there, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're fucked. So you gotta be strong. And don't let, don't see yourself in other people's eyes. You know what I mean? Just remember who you are. So... Whatever you guys are going through, you know what I mean? You guys are going to get through it. And just don't ever see yourself in somebody else's eyes. You know what I mean? Like, and turn to the Bible. Turn to God and repent of your sins. And you'll be delivered. You know what I mean? Like, the walk with Christ is not easy, but it's peaceful. It's peaceful. You could sleep at night knowing that you're not going out there doing people dirty and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, this is a touchy subject. It's taking a lot for me to even like make this video, but I know somebody out there needs to hear this. You know what I mean? Everybody goes through it. You just gotta like, you know, only the strong survive. And um, and that's it, man. Pick up that Bible and let the words in that Bible teach you. Because um, I'm, I'm not called to teach the Bible. I could teach you about mastering your mind and stuff like that. But everything I know is from the Bible. Like, I got, I got all my wisdom. I am where I am today is because of that Bible and God. And because Jesus died for my sins. That I'm even like worthy enough to pray to, to pray to God. You know what I mean? So just remember when you're praying, pray in Jesus' name because you're not worthy enough to talk to God. You know what I mean? So if you're not baptized yet, find somebody to baptize you right away. So you could accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you're able to speak through to God through Jesus Christ. You know what I mean? All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys, you know, walk the right path and 
you know, the walk is not easy. Sometimes you fail, but, you know, just repent. Don't do it a lot because, you know, like, you never know, like, you never know, like, what if, you know, grace grace runs out, you know what I mean? What if? I don't know. I'm not saying that that, that does happen, but. All right, guys. Well, bye.